Welcome to Inventor Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Inventor Camp Professor, with one of hundreds of online video tutorials available free at www.inventorcamp.com 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My goal is to be your personal Inventor Camp mentor, always available to show you the best ways to get to where you want to go in Inventor Camp. In this session, we'll be showing you some of the new options that we have in our tool table, starting with our tool table's new look. If we take a look at our tool table, you can see we've done a major cleanup of the way it looks. For one thing, we've added icons now instead of the buttons that we had before. And of course, if you just stand on an icon, you can see what each icon stands for. Now let's take a look at this area over here. We have our traditional tool view like we've had before. Now we've added that we can also see our, together with our tool view, the editing table of our tool. Now let's start taking a look of all the different options that we have in our tool table. And we'll start with the left top corner. In this corner over here, in this button, when it's pressed, you will see all the tools that we have in our tool table. If I click on the next button, you will see only the tools that are being used at this moment. With the next button, we can see all the unused tools. And we've also added another option of tools used in suppressed operations. If I have any operations that are suppressed and the tool is only being used in those operations, we can see those tools now as well. And clicking over here again, will again show us all the tools. Now let's continue. In this button over here, we can see the tools, the way they are arranged in their turrets. Click on it again, and we have the regular view again. Next, we can filter out to see only the tools that are being used for milling, all the milling tools. Clicking it again, we can see all the tools. Clicking on the next button will show us only the tools that are being used for turning operations. Next, by clicking on this button, we can decide which tools do we want to see first. Our milling, as shown over here, we can see now that our turning tool is at the end, or we can have our turning first. Next we have a button for clear filter, but we'll show that to you in a few moments. Our next button we also have added is a find button. By clicking on it, I can search for a specific tool. Let's just do by the tool number. And I'll put, for example, tool number six and click on OK. You'll see that it'll go directly to that tool. Next we have the edit tool. When it's open as it is right now, you can see the edit tool field. Clicking on it again, you will see only the tool table view. Our next button will show us a preview of how the tool looks in this window over here. And now we'll go to the bottom. In the bottom, we have the option of adding a new milling tool. We have the option of adding a new turning tool. Next, we also have the option here of copying the tool that we're on. The next button is the delete button. If there's a tool that we don't want, we can just simply click on it and delete it. And next, we have our renumbering button over here to renumber the tools with different numbers. We also have undo renumbering as shown over here. Our next two buttons is for importing and exporting tools. For more Inventor Camp Professor tutorials, please go to our website, www.inventorcamp.com, and look under the tab called Inventor Camp Professor. Thank you for joining us on Inventor Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.